There's a few topics today. In a dedicated subreddit for Arena, a rioter has revealed some more info about its next return. Right Meddler says that the next dev update will actually be early this week, so we could see it later today or tomorrow, and this update will have more info about Arena. He also added some more Arena info here. The 8 teams of 2 has been testing well and it could end up being a really good update. They're also trying new adjustments to items because mythic items were removed since the last Arena release. They're going to tweak or add more content content to things like augments, map functionality, the starting platform for more players etc. And then the best news is that Arena is on track to release before the summer event, which means it should be live with the MSI event on May 1st, and we should see Arena and the Empyrean skins hit the PBE on April 17th. There were some leaks that suggest Empyrean will return as a skin line for the MSI event, and recently Wild Rift showed Viego being one of the next Arena cameos, so it's possible Viego gets an Empyrean skin alongside Kale and Varus. Midler said there aren't plans to add the pay to win rerolls from Wild Rift's Arena to PC. It'll be interesting to see Arena's impact on other game modes, population or queue times in general, because a lot of people have returned to the game or left Summoner's Rift for Arena, so they could end up creating modes that are so well received that it ends up hurting other queues, so they're probably aware of that. The dev update early this week will also talk about the mastery rework, and we're meant to get an update or blog for Vanguard this week, which hopefully answers a lot of questions people have about it. Moving on, the Kappa Juice seems to have been permanently added to ARAM and someone posted this epic screenshot from a very long game where everyone stacked a lot of these Kappa Juice hats. It looks like Riot has rolled back the streaming policy for rioters who want to stream their games. It's unclear why and if they'll try to do this again. Drops haven't been that great lately, most of the recent ones have been happening for the LEC and LPL. And speaking of esports, Faker said T1 are having a tough time with the DDoS situation and this has been going on for weeks which is quite concerning. It means they can't scrim or practice as well as other teams. Some people called it excuse making but that's not the case, it's a pretty serious situation that shouldn't be happening at all. I think Faker may have also mentioned that drops have been really bad too, which would definitely affect the team's mental state going into pro games. Don't quote me on that, I'm obviously joking here, but Riot please fix. Thanks for watching, see you next time.